Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and disgusting weigh-ins. Usually, I mean, all the weigh-ins are pretty bad at the start, right? Everybody's up over 600 pounds. But that's just a starting point. It's not what defines you. Some people are bigger than others. Some people have a little bit of an easier time losing at first. Some people struggle. Some people get it together later on. But, I mean, ultimately it's the journey. Life is full of twists and turns and, uh, Hopefully you take the right path and don't get lost along the way. But as far as these people go, I've seen some of their stories. Like I know who Penny is, of course. Charity is one you guys have been asking me to do. And Shay, I don't think anybody's asked me to do Shay so far. Or maybe they have. But uh, let's check out some of the disgusting weigh-ins, because that's my favorite part anyway, really. I'm a little shocked. I just had no idea I'd gotten this big. One universal truth among just about everyone in the world is that the scale is not always our friend. We don't always like seeing what the number is, but I can almost guarantee you that you've never seen anything close to 600 pounds. We've already covered some of the wildest weigh-ins on my 600 pound life, but there are just so much to talk about that we had to make Damn. another video. Before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Click that bell and let's dive right I mean, Casper the Pound Ghost do be slipping up in there sometimes, adding a couple to that sucker. Because uh, there was a few times I was like, nah, that can't be right. Somebody's, pr a <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me, man. Is it April 1st today? Right into it. Penny is very large, but to know her situation, I need to examine her and see how much she weighs. Let's start this off with one of the most notorious patients in the history of the show. We're gonna check your weight now, okay? This is the largest fish in the market. Let me say <laughs> it's. Not I wonder what she would get on Wicked Tuna, huh? That's gotta be. This is fifty dollars a pound. Good fatty meat. Plenty of oils in this one. It's got canola, peanut. We got all the oils. Avocado oil. Good lord, this is the best fish ever. Never a good sign when you're not even capable of standing up to get your weight. Okay. A normal body mass index is about 20. 35 is morbidly obese. Over 40 is super morbidly obese. Hey, I heard it's over 40 is morbidly obese unless there's underlying health issues. If you don't have any health issues, that's not. Mine's 36 right now. I'm just calling myself obese. We're taking the win on that one. It's uh, 85.7. Wow, it's easy to watch this show for a while and not think that 530 is all that terrible. But then you hear Dr. Now describe it that way and you realize just how bad the situation is. Penny is not making any more progress. There is no benefit for her to be here. Hopefully things will change after you get back home. Are you excited going home today? I'm ready to go home. Man, that's young doctor now too. You guys should have kept her in Texas. Maryland didn't need her back. She could say, I think she's in Elkton, Maryland, which is like an hour and a half from me, I think. Penny has Frederick. not been a good patient at the hospital, so the doctor is giving her one final weigh-in before sending her home. I'm going to lose the weight. It's over and done. I just need to be home with my family. Damn oh, right. Oh, no, Penny. This isn't over and done. She's still not walking, and she hasn't lost a single pound since her surgery. And when you're that big, it's hard to maintain that weight under a hospital's eye. I have spent the last six months giving it all I have to lose weight and have been successful in losing Come on, boys. Push, pull, cool learnings. Well... Actually, I guess it's hot runnings. You're 600 pounds. Everybody's hot. I would like the scale to be lower than last time because that's my goal every time I step on it. After missing multiple weigh-ins, Penny is finally going back to Dr. Nell's office after spending the past few months with her family. I should be in the neighborhood of having lost about 340 pounds. Wow, guys. She only weighed 530 at the start. So if she's lost that much, does that look like a 190-pound woman to you? Because you ain't smacking me with the stupid stick. Like, yeah, I, <laughs> I could see that that ain't the case right there. Maybe one of her thighs. But look at the look at them in the back there. They are trying not to lose their shit and laugh at her, man. Oh, my. Oh, honey. <laughs> I just need to hold on to the front. Then you haven't lost any weight. That you can't be right. Since the surgery, you should be around 250 pounds. That's right. Living at home had led to a five pound weight increase, not a 300 pound decrease. I feel that the scales were wrong in the beginning and that I weighed more than what that was. They're medical scales, Penny. They're not wrong. Definitely, man. Those things have got to be wrong. They've been screwing me for years. They need to change the damn batteries in them suckers, man. 
because they're getting all of us fatties adding a couple pounds. But has she really been doing everything in her power to lose weight? Let's check the tapes. You really don't need someone telling you right after surgery what you can and can't do. I can pretty much look yeah. at food and calculate exactly what the calories are. I know the percentages from fat I should be having. Yeah. I cannot function without wontons. They're not the best. Makes sense. The wonton whopper has the calorie vision. She was blessed by the demon lord with the calorie eye thing for me talking is out and it's gonna be like why is she eating that hmm just a theory but maybe all that food is why you're not losing weight penny i'm taking this risk because it's the only opportunity i have it's my last resort i have to try it charity heads off to dr now's office well aware of how desperately she needs to lose weight it's been a long time since i've checked my weight to know where Bro, that is a calf holy shit that looks more like a stomach. That's crazy her leg is that swollen, though. Also, this chick's caked up to hell, man. I need her BBL lesson. I'm even at. I'm kind of scared to find out what I weigh. All right. 778. Okay. Got her, Let's too. Let's see why Charity was afraid to find out. That is a huge number. We have to intervene now, or she's not going to survive much longer. Our only option is to admit it to a hospital right now. We have to get her weight under control before it's too late. Dr. Now's not I just realized that I should be playing the pick five with my weight. Oh, my... You guys can't do that. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys playing the pick four, losers. I'm a pick five. Not messing around. He doesn't always send patients straight to the hospital. And when he does, it's usually not seconds after a weigh-in. But when you're almost 800 pounds, I suppose he makes an exception. I've been in the hospital for a couple months. But the doctor said I'm doing well enough to go home. Get on there and hands off. Okay, looks like that hospital call was justified. Under medical supervision, she was able to lose quite a bit of weight, but will that continue now that she can go home? So I need to of see course. if she can lose 40 pounds over the next month on her own. This is going to be a tough test. She lost 50 in a month, so it won't be easy for her to do another 40 pounds all on her own. I know I have easy. to show the doctor. I can do this on my own, but I'm really anxious right now. All right, a month's gone by. It's time to see if Charity successfully lost the weight. Doctor and I wanted her to lose. Okay. I need okay. to get the surgery. I was hoping to have lost more. I don't know if this means I'm done and the doctor can't help me. Okay, that's not exactly what she wanted, but at least the number's going down. Why are you depressed? You didn't lose the amount of weight I want you to, but 18 pounds show me that you can do this. We 18 pounds is one of her, like somebody popped her bubble butt. Like she's got all kinds of fluid in her. If you just took a dart and played like pincushion with her, she would lose that much weight and fluid. I've done it. I've like poked little holes in the front of my calf before and watched it leak for days. It was so gross. Like the front of my pants soaked. It's so bad. You go ahead and proceed with your weight loss surgery and we'll continue your weight loss years so you can get under 700 pounds. Wow, okay. I've never seen that from Dr. Now before. That's a real sign of faith from a man that usually doesn't sway from his previous medical opinions. I think my body feels relief. That's a lot. It's just amazing to see that number on the scale. And hey, credit the charity. She proved that Dr. Now's trust was justified and lost over 280 pounds throughout her. Yeah, she's doing great. That's a good job. Like that just goes to show you that where you start doesn't define you. It's where you finish. And that's what she said. But you know, charity's doing a good job. Uh, maybe I do need to check out her episode. It looks like it's earlier on because Dr. Now went from that to hell in a handbag, dude. That guy don't take that no more. You lost 18 pounds? Go to Toys R Us with that little kitty. Oh yeah, Toys R Us shut down, damn. Her time on the show. We've been on the road for 15 hours and I'm ready to get out of this car. It's been a very long journey down here. Uh, been uh, very, very taxing. 15 hours in a car is not fun, regardless of your weight, but hopefully the results are going to be worth the journey for Joe. Let's go, Joe. Mm -hmm. wow. Nobody's Damn, ever ready. Look at you. You're blessed, buddy. 777? Isn't that God's number? He just won the jackpot of weigh ins, guys. Holy hell. Take him to the casino with that. That's amazing, actually. Way to go, Joe. You're making big moves out here, buddy. I think he did really good, too, honestly.
I need to see that number on the scale, but Joe looks like he's almost on the verge of tears. I'm a little shocked. I just had no idea I got this big. Safe to say Joe's already had his eyes open and he hasn't even talked to Dr. Now yet. At 800 pounds, Joe is too high risk to do weight loss surgery. He's going to have to lose 120 pounds before I feel it's safe and I'm willing to move ahead. A hundred and okay. So Dr. Now will move ahead at 650. Mine wouldn't even touch anybody like any heavier than 550. I was like 540 when I had mine done. 20 pounds. Dr. Now usually makes his patients lose some weight before the surgery, if for no other reason than to prove that they have the willpower to change their eating habits. But 120 pounds, that might be the biggest number I've ever heard from Dr. Now. I knew I'd probably have to do something for the surgery, but to lose that much? It scares me to hear that number because I don't know if I can do it. Honestly, I can't blame Joe for being intimidated here. That's a lot of weight to lose. We're headed also, to do you guys remember the Joe Schmo show that was on TV where they were just like faking this reality TV show? That show was so funny. Doctor for a follow-up visit to see if I've lost enough weight. I really feel nervous because I don't know how well I've done over the last few months. It's never a good sign when the patient is saying that they're not sure how well they've done. Okay. Why not? Okay, I don't think anyone could have. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't know how well I did with that one either. But one time, I actually did walk in there thinking, oh, I killed it this month. But I knew my legs were kind of swollen, right? And then the surgeon's like, uh, you, like, gained 20 pounds. I was like, no way. No, it wasn't 20. It was like 15, right? Really, I had lost 15 pounds that month. But I came, that was a Friday I weighed in, okay? I came back on Monday after, like, getting rid of all the fluid, which, you know, doing the R. Kelly thing all weekend, and 35 pounds lighter, or 30, no, I, 30, I, I lost 15 or 20 that month, I can't remember, but I asked my surgeon about it in the video I posted on here where I interviewed him, he did not believe me, he thought I was cheating like hell, really, just swollen have expected him to lose 120 pounds in two months but to add weight i gotta say i didn't see that coming i'm mad at myself not only did i not lose but i can't well if he was almost crying last time this time the tears are actually flowing we've been on the road a lot so convenience fast food we had to do it if it's you know, grilled sandwiches um, how many just one yeah come that's on. what i'm talking about baby wendy's equals willpower on the road you're just lucky you didn't go to Chick-fil-A. Uh, Joe, that's mathematically not possible. Dr. Now's not even pretending to put up with Joe's lies. Maybe this is the wake-up call he needed. I'm going to Dr. Now's Arden's today for a follow-up appointment. I either get approved for the surgery or my journey is over today. We're at the end of the episode now, so let's see if Joe is able to even lose the weight. This is I mean, his shirt is fitting better, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I can see that he's not filling up that gap the same way he was originally with that scale. Also, it's kind of funny. They put it in that corner so you can lean on the wall because stepping up there is hard when you're that big. Yeah, this is the moment of truth. 6.52? Honestly, Hell good for yeah. you, Joe. Losing all that weight before surgery isn't easy, but God, he did it, and I'm proud of you for it. This means everything to Angel. He did. If she get this done, I think Angel will be an entirely different person. But if she don't get the surgery, death is imminent this is a very ominous way to start the episode but yeah he's kind of right angel's very like it's true i mean you're playing tag with the grim reaper at that size that's the way i like to put it at least and i ain't seen nobody 600 pounds moving like hussein bolt or anything i is at stake here and everyone knows it i would be lying if i said i wasn't nervous because i am why are you crying what's going on uh -huh. Oh, listen, I have faith. You're gonna be just fine, okay? Oh, poor Angel. Not even in the doctor's office yet, and she's already crying with nerves. I don't know what to expect. Of course. God, you could just tell the number destroyed her soul. She was nervous to go home. You're on the wrong damn show. This ain't the 570 pound life. This is 600, baby. We got moves to make here. You better hit Wendy's on the way back like Joe. Before she even got there, and I can only imagine what she's feeling now. I need you to lose 50 pounds over the next couple of months before consideration of surgery. All right, the goal is set, 50 pounds. Can she do it? My life depends on this weigh-in. She looks good. Oh, shit. 
Awesome. That honestly might be a new high score for the show. Remember, this isn't- She killed it, and she lost a couple ounces in teeth along the way. The end of the episode, this is just two months after her initial meeting with Dr. Now, and yet she still managed to lose 165 pounds. After the initial drop in the weight, they will stabilize and lose weight more slowly. From here, she need to be careful not to lose weight too fast. I can't think of too many instances really? where Dr. Now has worried about his patients losing too much weight, and that's just a testament to Angel. Yeah, that's insane that Angel did that good. She dropped that much weight that he was like, whoa, slow it down here. We ain't trying to send you the other direction with an ED or something. But yeah, so good on everybody who lost a bunch of weight. Besides Penny, the Wicked Tuna Witch, I don't know. She was the biggest fish in the market, apparently, and she didn't try after surgery. But it just goes to show you that anybody can turn it around. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has given up on themselves at one point or another, and they found a way to fight back, get back in the game, and take their life back. I, there's always a chance for you. I'm still working on taking mine back. 48 pounds to go, and I plan to get there at all costs. But, alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.